Hello, Saints. Oh, today is Saturday, December 30th, 2023. This is day two of our supernatural alignment with destiny. As we are sharpened to hear and follow the precepts of our God and Father by the Holy Spirit, as we pray and fast with Pastor Chris. In Jesus' name, Amen. And so, with Pastor Chris teaching, our theme for today's article is He Rehearsed Divinity to Us. Our opening scripture is taken from John 1, verse 18, and it says, No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, He hath declared Him. Hallelujah. The word declared in our opening verse originates from the Greek term exegeomai, signifying not just a mere declaration, but the act of rehearsing or unfolding something. In essence, Jesus rehearsed divinity to us. He came to reveal God in a way we could relate with and understand. Oh, praise God. The life of Jesus was a living testament, a vivid portrayal of the kingdom's principles and the divine way of living. This profound truth is why the Bible instructs us to follow in his footsteps, for he has given us an example to emulate. Hallelujah. 1 Peter 2 verse 21 underscores this beautifully. For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Pastor says, Jesus came to show us the Father's love, character, and will. He said in John 14 verse 9, He that has seen me hath seen the Father, a claim only the one who was God in the flesh could make. Wow! Ephesians 5, 1-2 says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us. The term followers translates from the Greek word mimetes, denoting not merely followers but imitators, those who copy another. We are called to be imitators of God, but how can we imitate God when we haven't seen Him? Jesus made it possible. Glory to God. He came to reveal God's nature and His love for us. God loves us. We know because we see from the scriptures how Jesus was moved by love and compassion. Jesus in action was God at work. Praise God. Now we can manifest the Father's love, His righteousness, mercy, compassion, and grace because that's what Jesus did when He walked the earth. We have the life of Christ in us, and His love is poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, according to Romans 5, verse 5. Hallelujah! Oh, the Apostle Paul tells us, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us, and given Himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. That we can find in Ephesians 5 verse 2 of the New King James Version, Pastor concludes, O oh dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. O oh, Kilestika prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts, please say with me, Dear Father, thank you for revealing your nature and your love to us through the Lord Jesus. I follow in his steps and imitate him in my daily life, loving as he loved, walking as he walked, and thinking as he thought. Your love shines through me as a testament to your character and nature in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read John 14, verse 9, Ephesians 5, 1 to 2 of the Amplified Classic, and then 1 John 3, verse 16 says, Hereby perceive we the love of God, 
because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Wow, saints, we are poised to be led of God's instructions and imitate God our Father as we diffuse the aroma of the knowledge of our God. Yes, for we have become the express image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ now and in the coming year 2024. Glory to God. All right, for further details, please contact us via any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Embassy Church near you. God bless you and do have a most glorious day.